Hi everybody, I'm really glad to have you in my kitchen again. Today we're doing something with leftovers. Yesterday I hosted a party and I served salmon. And as you see, I have a lot of salmon left over. And out of these leftovers, we are going to create a fresh salmon salad that I will be using throughout the next few days. The same recipe can also be used to make a tuna salad. We are starting with three tablespoons of mayo, cup and a half of finely chopped onions, a cup of celery, some freshly ground pepper, and just use as much as you like, just uh, for taste actually, some salt, uh, and I'm not using a lot of salt right now because um, Salmon has been salted yesterday, so there's already enough salt in salmon and there's quite a bit of salt in mayo, as you know. And mix it all together. Now I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. I have to have a garlic in everything that I cook. And I'm adding a little bit of uh, crushed peppers. These are spicy and I love hot peppers in my food. And also I'm going to add some mustard. You can use anywhere from a tablespoon to two or more tablespoons of mustard. It all depends on your taste. Now to make a recipe valid, I'm just going to measure how much salmon we put in. But you don't have to be exact. But I know that a lot of you like to have actual recipes, so we'll try to go with exact measurements. Okay, your first two cups. So it looks like overall we're going to end up with four cups of salmon. I wish that all of you adventurers in the kitchen learn to uh, just cook for your taste. Uh, we are measuring today to help you out, but more or less fish would really not make a big difference. So um, as I said, we are ending up with four cups of salmon. Actually there's a little bit more than four cups. But as I said, you really should cook for your taste. Time to mix it all again. As you see, um, the mixture looks somewhat yellow because of mustard. I like a lot of mustard in my tuna salad or salmon salad, so you can go with less. One tablespoon of mustard would be sufficient enough. And now my favorite part, lemon. I just love lemon in the cooking. Just a little lemon juice. So all together, I end up using half a lemon. And now that salad is ready, I'm going to move on and make some little toasts out of the leftover bread that we had yesterday. So I'm just going to cut these little rolls, thin slices. And this way, there will be no waste and the bread will be used. And I want to tell you all a story about the bread. When I was a child, my grandmother was so particular about what happens to bread in a house. Uh, I was raised with the um, understanding that we were never to step on a crumb of a bread. So after we would finish up the meal, the next step was uh, uh, to clean up on the table. So just in case anybody saw a bread laying on the floor, we were supposed to get up and pick it up. So um, to this day, I'm still very touchy and very uh, particular about what happens to leftover bread. So, um, and I wish that the uh, rest of you would also understand how blessed and how important it is that we are, we do have a bread in home and in our life and um, how blessed we are that we are not hungry. And here we go. I'm just going to make a simple little toast. And uh, the best thing about leftover uh, bread is that actually it's even better for something like this the next day. The fresh bread will not toast as well as this bread does. So. Bread is done toasting. It's looking really good. And the best part is um, that it's going to taste even better now that it's warm and the flavors are revived. All right. Let's put some of this in there. I have a feeling this is going to taste really good because the salmon had so much flavor. 
Uh, I let it marinate before the, I baked it yesterday in olive oil and garlic, parsley, and, um, a lot of capers. I even touch of teriyaki. Okay, I'm just gonna lay in here. And this last one I'm keeping for myself. I think we are ready with a little fruit and some extra lemon for, um, for our little toasts. I love when I bite into food and my mouth just feels like there is a fireworks. So this is delicious. I can feel it right here and right here. That's how delicious it is. It's, it has a um, creaminess. It has this um, sourness from uh, lemon and from mustard. But all together, all flavors work so well together. And this little toast on the bottom just nails it.